Hello guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and today we're going to be doing something also related to the World Cup. You know, the European 10 teams that have qualified and the 12 teams who have um, not qualified, well, 12 teams in the playoffs. It's going to be interesting, we're going to be ranking their squad in that order down below, it's just a random order, but we're, it's going to be in that order. But yeah, it's going to be interesting, we've had a lot of themed World Cup stuff so far, you know, you can tell I'm a... Uh, Pretty excited for the uh, the big competition to go ahead this year. Only two hundred and eight seventy nine days. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. Count down to every single one. Should we move on? Should we start off with? Oh, before we do though, here is the categories: world class, very good, good, poor, and stinky. Um, yeah, very good and good. You know, a bit weird, but anyway, we'll move on. Uh, we're Belgium first. Um. The very good squad. Let me just put it up there. And very good. No, all right. I'm gonna f yeah, good, good. Please. It's it's a really good squad. I'm not. It's near world class, but their defenders that are down. They haven't got some key. They haven't got some big defenders, like big defending names, have they? They've got Aldevar and Tonga, and they've got some other. They used to have Vincent Company, but he's retired. Um, they've got some good. They got Kevin De Bruyne in the midfield, Torgan Hazard, Eden Hazard, Lukaku, Couture in goal. It's just a stacked squad up from Mertens. They've got a good squad. It's not world class. It's a very good squad. And it's a squad that can win the World Cup. I think it's a squad that will could bottle it and they do tend to bottle some stuff. But yeah, for me, very good for Belgium. Oh, with Austria. There's only about three or four key players. Sabitzer, Anatovic, Alaba. Um and there's a few more, but it's maybe a bit controversy but it's not a good squad it's a poor squad it's hard to say they've got some key players like an out of it like what we said but they don't perform very well as a unit and that that's the problem they don't perform very well as a unit and that's what i'm that's what i'm thinking why um why oh great That's the reason why I'm putting them where they are because they are they're, they're a decent squad. And yeah, they have some key players, but they're just a poor squad. And yeah, moving on to Croatia, and they've got Rakitic, Modric, every itch you can ever see. It's a good squad. It's not very good. It's not world class. It's not poor. It's good. It's a good squad. It's. It's hard to say that they're very good. You know, they've got Modric. Few few of the decent players. Um, they you know they got to the World Cup final and then they lost to France, which is um which is, yeah, France were always gonna win it. Um so that's not that bad. They lost to Spain in the Euro round of sixteen, which is a bit questionable. Um and yet, they're a good squad. They're not a very good squad, but they're not poor. So, it has to go into that good squad. Moving on to Czech Republic. Schick, their keeper is brilliant. Um, they got Suchek. It's a good squad. It's not a very good squad. I don't think they'll be a very good squad for a while, but it's a good squad. It's, it's a, it, you know, some of their players are really good. The so Sucheks, the um, Schicks. The, the keeper, I think it's something V, I don't know, Veslic or something like that. But they're, they're, they've got some good centre backs as well. They've just got a good overall team. And I'm not too sure, but I think they could, could qualify for the World Cup. Um, but yeah, you know, it's going to be close, isn't it? Um, I think, you know, Czech Republic, they, they could do well. They could do very. Well, so I'm I'm hoping for them to do well, but yeah, um, I'm not hoping. No, no. Den Denmark, they've got a lot of teams have been the good quality in the good category because Denmark have got a good squad. Let's be honest, 
it's more close to very good than it is to very poor. To poor even. They've got Damsgaard, brilliant. They've got um, what's his face? Eriksson, brilliant. Paulson, decent. Christensen, decent. Casper Schmeichel, decent. They've got a very decent squad, which adds them up to a good squad. Um, you know, maybe that that category could have been decent, but you know, this is one of my few times. This is one of my first times doing a tier list. Um, and if you want to do a tier list yourself, I'm like usually like I'm looking at YouTubers and they they don't tell us what to do. I'm gonna be a YouTuber that tells you to do is tiermaker.com and search up European World Cup teams tier list maker and it'll come up. And um, you can just do it yourself. And yeah, and if you want to record yourself, that's it right there. Free screen recorder, free video recording software, Vimeo Record. It's gotta put all your details in and get that. But that's just quick because you know I I like it's fine. But YouTubers always don't really tell you what you're doing. You're like I really want to do that, but I don't know what to do. I, I'm I'm gonna tell you what to do. And if you want to do it, then then you can do it. If you don't. And then that's fine. But yeah, should we keep on Denmark? You know, Casper Schmeichel, Christensen's a decent centre back. They've got good midfield in Ericsson. They've got a good squad and they got to the Euro semi final. So you can't say they're you can't say there's a poor squad. It's a very good squad. Moving on to England. Kane Sterling, very good. I don't know. Because yeah, we've got Kane, we've got Pickford, we've got defence lets us down. I think we're a very good squad. I'm not. I'm not saying we're we're a world class squad. I'm not that biased. I'm not that biased, lads. I'm not. I'm not that biased. Oh, I'm not going to put England as a world class squad yet. Yet. In five years' time, when everyone's hit their prime, we may have lost Kane, but by that time, Abraham will be our striker. We had Tamori as centre back. We have all these players. In five years' time, we will be. A world class team, and we will win a trophy. Maybe the Nations League, maybe the World Cup this year, maybe the Euros in Germany in 2024, maybe the World Cup in America, Mexico, and Canada in 2026. We may win a World Cup, we will win a World Cup in the next 20 years. It's a big shout, it's 20 years to be fair, but yeah, England, I think, is a very good squad. Five years' time will be a world class squad. Moving on to Spain. It's a good squad. It's not a very good squad. It's a good squad. You know, they've got the likes of... Um, to be fair, they have some good players. They've got the likes of Morata. All right. I think they've got Olsen, good, a good goalkeeper. They've got... I think he's... Camzo, I'm not too sure. But they've got another brilliant player. Um, they've got Ferran Torres. He's good. They've got Aspi and Aqueta. He's Decent. Sergio Ramos, he ain't playing in the Euros, but he is a brilliant player. They've got some very good players, but they do tend to bottle some things, and they nearly bottled it against Croatia. Pretty embarrassing, nearly bottling it to Croatia. To be fair, Croatia aren't a bad side, and I'll put Spain where Croatia are. I think Spain, to be fair, better than Croatia, but we're not going to be doing that. We're just going to be, you know. Yeah, Spain's in a good squad. France, world class. You can't, you know, France won. They're the World Cup champions. Yes, they may have had a bad, bad, like, a bad run in the Euros. Yeah, possibly. But that doesn't take a single dollar dosh away from how good their squad is. They may, they may have just had a bad Euros. Like, one competition doesn't define how class you are. Even then, you know, just just a slight Mbappe miss cost France. They are a world class squad, and they will be for some time. And England and France, and I think Brazil sort of come into the party, but I think England and France just kick them out and get their ID card and just show it to everyone around just to make fun of Brazil. Um, I just think yeah, France, um, France and England are. Very close. England is like middle, middle. It's middle. It could be world class, could be very good. That's just my opinion. Moving on to Germany. It's a very good squad. It's a very good squad. 
Yes, it may. You may question them, question that. I don't think they're a good squad. I don't think they're a world class squad. I think they're in that category very good. You know, they got Werner, Havertz, um, Neuer, Kimmich, um, Cruz is retired. They got Rudiger, Hummels. And I can name the whole team. Gunter, he's all right. You know, they have got a very good squad. And yes, they may have had a bad Euros. Guess who beat them? Oh yeah, England. Um, the World Cup, you know, yeah, they may have the poor World Cup, but that doesn't take anything away. They're just not working together. If you think about on paper, they have got one of the best squads you'll ever need, you'll ever see. They have got one of the best squads, and they are a very good squad, Germany. And, um, and yeah, moving on to Italy. I think it's not a If you win the Euros, you can't be a good squad. You have to be higher. They're a very good squad. They're not a world class squad. Nowhere near. I think England is closer to being a world class squad than Italy is to being a world class squad. Um, England have Kane. Who do Italy have? A mobile. I'm going to get my mobile phone to uh, to ring him and say he's not a good, he's not a good enough striker. Insigne. He's all right, but Kane's. Way better. Chiesa versus Sterling. What a clash at clash of the Titans that's gonna be. It's I think England have a better squad than Italy, but they, they just cheated in the Euro final. Cheated in the Euro final. But yeah, Italy they have a great squad. Donnarumma, brilliant. Killini Benucci, the their them two combined is older than my nan. My mama. She's I'm not gonna say how old she is, but they're older than her. And they're still playing. It's ph- it's phenomenal from Chiellini and Benucci. It's, it's brilliant, brilliant stuff from them. They're they're still rocking and rolling at the age seventy. Brilliant. No, not not the both. They're not age seventy, but combined at age seventy. I think Chiellini's like something's like someone's thirty six, someone's thirty four. I think Chiellini's thirty six, Benucci's thirty four. They may have had their birthday, so they may be even older than that. So, yeah, I think it's the Arvaroga squad. Moving on to North Macedonia, Alioski FC. Yeah, stinky squad. Um, I think that whole category there is just made for North Macedonia. It's a stinky squad. Um, yeah, and the fact that they've come to the playoffs is brilliant on their behalf. You know, they beat Germany. They're beating these big teams. But look at their team on paper. They're stinky. They're stinky. Alioski and a few poor players makes them a stinky squad. <laughs> Moving on to Netherlands is a good squad. Virgil van Dijk, Depay and all that. They're not a very good squad. They don't go to the Belgians, the Englands, the Belg- <laughs> the Germanys, the Italians, the French. They don't get on that level. I think they, they do stick around the Spanish, the Dan- Danish, around there. You've shown us in the Euros, um, they weren't at their peak best. Um, and, yeah, I think, you know, yeah, Netherlands, they have Van Dijk. They have Depay. They have De Litt. But on paper, they're not a very good squad. They're a good squad. They're a good squad. Let's just leave it at that. They're a good squad. Moving on to Poland. It's a poor squad. Um, you may be thinking, James. That's my name. James, why put Poland as a poor squad when they have Lewandowski? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, who else have they got? Who else has they? Generally, who else have they got? That's actually decent. No one. Lewandowski can't just take you to good quality. They're they're not stinky. They're not North Macedonia, but they're not good. They're poor. And it's shown in the Euros. It's shown on paper. On paper, if I drop that whole team down, who do I look and see? They're a decent player. Apart from Lewandowski, of course. No one. Apart from that Schnesny kid. I can't even say his name. He's finished. He was an Arsenal baller, and then he turned out to be like a... Well, I don't even know who he plays for anymore. Right, Poland are oh, not a good squad. The Lewandowski FC. And when you play the likes of Croatia, a Czech, a Danish, and the teams above them, and even Australia, even Austria, not Australia, Austria, I think they can beat Poland. They're not a good squad, Poland. They're a poor squad. And moving on to Portugal... On the bright side, Portugal are a very good squad. 
you may be thinking Ronaldo FC. They have not just got Ronaldo. They've got the likes of um, Ronaldo, Bruno Fernandes, Bruno Fernandez, Diogo Jota. They've got Rui Patricio, which is good. Pepe at his age doing really well. They've got some good, brilliant players. Ricardo Sanchez, brilliant baller. They're a very good squad. Portugal are nowhere near good. They're very good. And, yeah, I just think Portugal are a very good squad. They've got a few very good squads, but they are very good squads. In Europe, it's a very, very good team. Moving on to Russia. It's a poor squad. I'm sorry for Russia fans. You can you can drink vodka while watching this video. Um, you know, Russia, a rogue, they're a good They're a poor squad. Zuba, a few, a few other names. That's about it. They haven't really got anyone else um but yeah russia they aren't they aren't the best team they're average they're poor we are scotland and for me they're the mm, i'm gonna get roasted by the scots here oh it's it's, it's it's a hard one because to be fair i think a very poor good squad if you want to go to the lower ranks and say good but poor, poor good squad, I think Scotland's there. You know, I don't think they're poor enough to be in the poor, but I don't think they're good enough to be in the good. Yeah, I'm gonna go good. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be nice to the Scots today. Um, you know, yeah. The only reason why I do is think you know they've got McGinn, McGinn, McTominay. Shit Adams, Fraser, who's playing well for Newcastle. Um, they got Lyndon Dykes. They've got a few decent players, which I think they have just enough decent players to get them into the good squad. I'm going to be interested to see. I hope Scotland can beat Ukraine. I hope Wales can beat Austria. And Wales, Scotland. Let's see. Because, yeah. Moving on to Serbia. Yes. They've somehow beaten Portugal after Fluke FC. Tadic, Mitrovic, that's about it. They're a poor squad. Serbia, poor squad. They're, they're poor good. I think it's the same with Scotland, but I think Serbia just don't have enough decent players to be in the good squad. I think they have just a few less decent players in Scotland to be in the poor. I think Serbia... They're very close to being a good squad. They're very close to being a good squad. They're very good. To, they're very close to being so around the same lines as the Spanish, the Croatian, the Czechs, the Danish, the Dutch, the Scots. They're very close to being around there. I just don't think they are at the moment. But it's very close. Like I can, you can say, you can say all this about me, but I think so. We are very close. They're, they're very close. Moving on to Switzerland, a good squad. A good, good squad. Um, a Bolo, Shakiri, Xhaka, Sommer, um, and some few big names. Like on paper, they're a good squad. On the field, they're a good squad. They're beating France. They're nearly beating Spain. For God's sake, I put France as a world class team. Spain is a good team, and and Switzerland are beating them both. And if Switzerland, if I put Switzerland in a poor squad, that'd be just breaking news, right? Switzerland of a of a good squad, and they could go far in this World Cup. They go far in these sort of competitions. Switzerland are an underrated team. You need to watch out for them. Moving on to Sweden. Ah, oh, Sweden. Who they really, really got? Forsberg. Yeah. I think yeah, poor for me. And it showed in the Euros, they lost to Ukraine. Um, so if I put Ukraine in a poor and Sweden in a good, then yeah. <laughs> you got Forsberg, you got Ibrahimovic, but he's 40 odd. He's still doing it at 40, to be fair to him. So yeah, I just think Sweden, they're a decent squad. Um, but yeah, <laughs> Forsberg, a few other. Just below good players, uh, poor squad. Moving on to Turkey, another poor squad. It's close. To, it's like Scott. It's like Serbia. They're very close to being a good squad. 
they can get a few more Turkish players breaking onto the scene, then I think they will be a good squad. Um, you know, it's hard. You can't sign in a German, can you? you? Can't sign. It's countries. It's different. But if they can get like a good, good Turkish player who's born and bred to be a Turkish brilliant phenomenon, then I think you can say Turkey will be a good team. But they need some few more Turkish additions to them. They need a few try and get the Turkish league, Turkish boys to try and perform. It's a little bit better than they'll be a good squad. But yeah, moving on to Ukraine, it's a, it's a poor squad. It's close to being a good squad, but they are sort of Yarmolenko, Sachenko FC. Um, yeah, it's it's close. You know, it's hard to say. Um, you know, Ukraine, they did well in the Euros, apart from getting um, thrashed by, um, who was it? Um, my links, my links things, you know, whisper it to me. Oh, yeah, it was England, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, I forgot. Um, no, but, yeah, Ukraine for me are poor. Um, and moving on to Wales, you know, if Scotland are in good, Wales have to be in good because they're Bale, Ramsey, Dan James. They've got some key good players, to be fair to them. And Wales, you know... Look at their badge, very nice. It's like, uh, move that wraps up the video. What a video has been some world club, world club, world cup, um, uh, content is coming out when we've got over just over 270 days. Well, it is what it is on this channel, isn't it? But yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.